In today's short video, I'm gonna show you how to cut your render times in half when using the physical renderer in Cinema 4D. Don't miss this one. Hey everybody, it's Nick here again from grayscalegorilla.com, bringing you the tools, training, and tutorials to help make you a better motion designer. Now we have a really short video today all about saving you time when rendering with the physical renderer. Now don't forget to check out the description in this one, there's a ton of show notes. And if you want more tutorials just like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. All right, let's get in there and let's start rendering. Okay, here we are in Cinema 4D, and I already have the scene ready to go to illustrate this technique. Now he's all textured, we got our G-Man model, he's got an HDR around him, and it's at this point in the process when I would usually go add global illumination to our scene. And that's because we don't have any diffused textures. You can see up here we have some teal plastic on the sunglasses and then this wood texture on our G-Man model, but it's not showing up in our final render. So how do we add that in. Well, what I would usually do is go add global illumination. Now, I would add global illumination and I would usually add, you know, QMC uh, to our primary and secondary method. I've been using QMC forever. Just love the stability of it. And then now, you know, that looks way better, right? We have our wood texture, our glasses lit up, and now I think we're ready to do our, you know, kind of final render and see what it looks like. So let me turn off our interactive render region so we could put all the CPU power into our picture viewer. And by the way, if you want a tutorial on how to set this up in your Cinema 4D workflow, we have an entire tutorial all about it. I'll link it up here in YouTube and also down in the description. Um, but let me turn this off, turn off interactive render region, and then I'm gonna hit Shift Command R and that's gonna render not only with my machine, but also because I have team render set up, it's gonna render with all my team render machines as well. And uh, quick plug for another tutorial, if you wanna know how to set up your team render, we have a tutorial on that at Grayscale Gorilla. I'll link that up here and down in the description as well. So as we watch this render, you can see physical render is very beautiful. It's a very capable render, but it can be very slow if you don't know how to optimize it well. And in this case, you know, this looks pretty good. And for a still, it's not going that slow. You know, it's gonna end up being around 40, 45 seconds maybe. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, 40 seconds, not bad for a still. But man, if you're gonna do an animation, you're gonna be almost a minute of frame. What if we could cut that in half and make it look almost exactly the same? Well, that's what this technique does. Let me show you exactly how this works. Now, traditionally, when you texture uh, and use materials, you're gonna use the color channel as the diffuse layer, and then you're gonna add all your reflections on top of it in the reflectance layer, and that's exactly what we have here. Now, here's the secret. The physical render seems to not enjoy the color channel, right? So let me just show you this real practical, you know, I'm just gonna turn off the color channel, and I'm gonna re-render it, right? the same exact scene, but without the color channel. And now, of course, we don't have our diffuse layer. We don't see the wood, we don't see the plastic, but look at the render time. Okay, 11 seconds instead of what was this? 40. So what if we can get this speed, but with this look? Well, that's exactly what this technique does. What this technique does is, is it uses the color channel in the reflectance channel so that we could turn off the color channel altogether. And this is how you do it. If you already have materials in your color channel, just come in here to your texture where your materials are and you can go copy shader and then we can come into the reflectance layer and add a new reflectance layer. Now check this out. There are diffuse models built in to reflection or to reflectance that are identical to the color channel. In the color channel, you'll see that it, this is using the Lambertian model if we go to our reflectance, add a new layer, and say add Lambertian, now ne next thing we have to do is drag it down to the bottom of the stack here, because you always want your diffuse layer at the bottom. And then where do we paste this? Remember we copied it before. We're gonna come down to texture, and we're gonna paste it right here. Paste shader, bam. So now your diffuse layer is in your reflectance channel instead of the color channel. Let's do the same with the sunglasses. In this case, it's just a color, so we can just right click on color, copy the this teal color that we had, come into reflectance, add another Lambertian, drag it to the bottom, and now in this case we just go to the layer color 
right click paste. Okay, now here's where it gets crazy. If we turn off our global illumination, it's completely off and we hit render, you're gonna see an almost identical render to that first pass in less than half the time. So let's wait for the final number here and then we're gonna AB between both layers. Okay, 14 seconds versus 40 seconds. Now look, I'm I'm showing you both. Now what I'm seeing is a little bit more bleed uh, on the color of the glasses. It's a little brighter here. So you may have to compensate for a couple little things here and there. But if you simply build your materials using reflectance instead of the color channel, you could save yourself over half the time in rendering. So check this out. And I'll add some uh, full you know, full frame examples over on our website. I'll link that down below in the description. If you want to see these in higher res, uh, I will I will render these out and put these in the website as well. So next time you reach for global illumination in Cinema 4D, don't forget to try this technique out instead and try to save over half the render time. Thanks again for watching everybody. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more Cinema 4D tutorials just like the one you saw. And if you're looking to speed up your Cinema 4D workflow even more, don't forget to check out our award-winning plugins and texture packs over at our website. Now that's it for today. Let me know what you think about this short form tutorial and I'll see you in another video really soon. Bye everybody. Is this it for Global Illumination? Are we done with it? Thanks for everything you did, GI. I'm gonna miss you.